Now we count to the magical six. Well, if it gets past six seconds, then it's good. Then it's good. Wow. <laughs> but only if it fucks up, it's normally fine. Not cool, man. So for those of you just tuning in, because my camera works now, <laughs> every time, every time I meet Weem in the flesh, every time, that's two out of two, that's 100% of the time, <laughs> my camera shits its pants and breaks. I don't even know why I meet with this guy. <laughs> I really don't know why I do it. It's because I'm a glutton for punishment. Right. I have a bit of a fast road route planned for us back to, back to the house. It's just a shame that the views are going to be a little bit spoiled by all this bullshit. <laughs> Alright buddy, let's go! So I was just happily minding my own business yesterday, just holding onto my testicles with one hand watching television, like you do. If you're a guy, you know what I mean. You just, it's a security thing, I think. It's just, it's just like, yeah, my balls are there. They're definitely there. I don't feel any lumps. I think I'm good. I'm content. I'm secure. No one else is going to be able to touch my balls right now. Well, it's good. So, anyway, I was just happily minding my own business, touching my balls, watching television. When I get a text from Mr. Weem, this, this fucking guy, and he said, I'm going to come to your island. Which was the worst Scottish accent I've ever tried to do. Which, I'm not sure if that was a euphemism actually, it may have been. And then I get, <laughs> I get another text a little later on. Yeah, I'm on the 10am boat. I'm like, uh oh! Uh oh! Oh shit. So I had to rush around this morning bleaching my asshole and waxing my chest and stuff like that. Mr. Weem is on my island. I've got a whole bunch of activities planned for us today. Think about all the room for activities, and I'm choking to death on the fucking smoke burning off of this goddamn Range Rover Land Rover thing. Good God, it stinks, man. So I've got a whole day's worth of activities planned, so we're gonna go and uh, I'm gonna take him back to the dungeon that is my house. I'm gonna introduce him to some exotic things, like coffee from Turkey. I don't know if you can see him in the rearview mirror there, but he looks, uh, he looks mean, actually. Mr. Weem is intimidating. Oh, actually, I wonder who I'm meeting with right now. Do you reckon it's Weem or do you reckon it's Dark Weem? Because there is a difference. Shit, there is a difference. Did you guys watch <laughs> Weem's, <laughs> Weem's Dark Weem video? Holy shit. It's so bizarre. It's just fucking awesome. He put so much effort into it. The editing is brilliant, but it is creepy. Good on you, buddy. I like that, uh, I like that Weem tries things that are a little different, you know, a little bit off the wall. Good day to you. Good day to you. Go fuck yourselves, the both of you. Ooh. So I, I honestly doubt that there are any of you out there who aren't familiar with who Weem is. Weem is a fellow vlogger from the London area and he's one of my favourites. He's hilarious, he's Scottish and he's nice. He's a great guy, go and check him out. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. Well worth your time to look at his videos. He does great stuff. Mind your testicles, Mr. Weem, because they're going to get the shit kicked out of them down here. <laughs> uh. This is when having a bike like a Street Triple R versus a Super Sport is better. Because when you're on roads that are subpar, bikes like the Super Nakeds take them in their stride, whereas the Super Sports fucking bang up and down all over the place and they feel really unsettled and they're uncomfortable as fuck and it sucks but for everything else they're fucking amazing so it's MOT day today for the car so I'm just gonna go pick it up and drop it off at the shop so they can tell me it failed at a bulb or some silly bullshit like that. I don't much fancy being stuck behind this learner though. It's a 50 limit, I'm doing 34. <sighs> I know that everyone has to learn, right? It's not their fault. So I, I don't like to give them any shit for it, but... Oh, it does suck. Then again, what did I just preach about? Tolerance, right? Tolerance. So I'm going to be tolerant towards the learner and just... Uh, just get on with it. Just be happy at the back of the queue here. Just la 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 la. 
Life is good. Okay, what's with the unexpected slowdown, though? See, the guy, uh, the guy right behind the learner, in my opinion, is being a bit of a douche. He's a little close. Uh, if you're learning and you are a little nervous, that's not going to help you, is it? Come on, man. The last thing you need is added pressure from some helmet behind you, sitting on your bumper, bearing down on you the whole time. That's great. Thank you so much for that, twat. Oh no, he's going left. Ah, shit. <laughs> the number plate on that saxo. Gay! Couldn't be more fitting, could it? Because that saxo looks like shit. Man, what an English day. There's a tractor on the road, too. Could, it, could anything else more English happen today? Maybe I'll go around a corner, slip on a scone, smash into the back of a tea truck, and then apologise to the person I just crashed into. Terribly sorry, old chap. Shit, fucking balls, asshole. I wanted to overtake. Damn it. Fuck shit. My nipples are cold. I'm acutely aware of just my nipples being cold. It's weird. Good god, I'm gonna have icicles on my tits at this rate. Yet it still remains a nice view. I don't know how it does it. One of my favourite things about England is the green. I love the green. When we came back from Israel, which is mostly brown, it was like a refreshing change, you know? And 40 miles an hour. Oh, he's done it. What a boss. Single-handedly, with gloves on, done up his motorcycle jacket poppers because I'm awesome shit do not sing that fucking song smoke Jesus Christ do not sing that fucking song do not sing it oh, I'm so alone when I say this but I really did not like the Lego movie oh man I just felt like it was trying so hard to be funny it just got on my tits really pissed me off what you're doing thank you for indicating at the very last second there it just got on my nerves it tried so so hard to make everyone laugh it just got on my tits way to take that corner Cleo that was shocking you got one of the smallest cars in the world and you run wide on the corner I didn't prep for the overtake. Thought about it. And time to relax. Remember what I say, kiddies? Don't shit where you eat. 